Wingman Joker thank you for listening to this channel and please support the channel. Please subscribe. Chapter 427, Another Slave. Victor, who watched what was happening in the main island's dungeon live through his many personal, cameras, finally sighed in relief as things came to a satisfactory conclusion. He was really worried about the girls, especially Rita who came face to face with death without realizing it. Thankfully she managed to not only dodge the poison lord but also kill Poe before he could notice her. That guy was more dangerous than Victor had ever expected. During this entire time, he watched as he sneaked around the Von Weiss archipelago, effortlessly killing both monsters and guards as he flipped random rocks all around the island. It was as if he was looking for something. Victor was not sure what Poe was doing, but this guy knew something, and hopefully, Rita would have his memories now that she had eaten him. He also needed to check that poison lord in the heart. What did his ancestor do to be called a traitor? Who was that spirit empress? He had never heard of anything like that in his previous life. This might relate to some big secret that he felt that he must unveil before the reckoning. Damn it. At first, he thought his problem was just those pesky scions, but now even lords were popping up like mushrooms too. Just how ignorant was he in his previous life? Even Lily, who once freely explored the other timeline, had no idea about all of this. Was it all a lie or was something else at play here? Young master, is there anything wrong? Was our service not to your liking? Sinny, who was resting on her lap, asked as she fed him grapes. Yas was messaging his back. No, you two are perfect, he said with a sigh. It is just that I have a lot on my mind recently. He added as he sat up. I think it is time for me to go check on a few things. Already, the two elf girls asked reluctantly as they watched him disguise himself as an old man again. Yup, I have to go work hard to feed the two of you. He said, giving each a kiss on the mouth and making them blush before he vanished. Ellipsis. Victor didn't leave the cauldron but transported himself toward another area where a lot of girls were working building an entire village. This group was composed of the two groups the ones Rita saved from the Von Zwei dungeon and the ones Tom saved from Caspian. Butler. All the girls bowed as Victor appeared out of thin air. He had been acting as Vic's old butler lately. How is the work here? He asked, looking at the village that was slowly taking shape. We are doing great, one of the girls quickly said. It is just that some of us were causing trouble lately, she added, glaring at three girls in the back. One of them was Mavis, the dark scion. Mavis Iron Blood, STR 12, In 12, Luck 2, Charm 22, Bloodline, Fate, Fate's Power, S, Defined Fate, Dark Scion, Your Stupidity Will Bring Your Ruin. Destiny List Less Than 10 Order Points to Unveil Greater Than. Destiny List. Greater than greater than less than birth fate greater than worship the demon duke Taramak Kar is your master less than a greater than. Greater than greater than less than self set greater than revenge. Those who hurt me will die. Less than s greater than. Greater than greater than less than self set greater than find my family and check on their safety. Less than s greater than. Greater than greater than less than self set greater than get out of this place. Less than s greater than. Greater than greater than less than world set greater than your stupidity will bring your ruin, you will keep making mistakes that would fuck you and all of those around you up. Less than ss greater than. He didn't get to look at it before, but this girl was bad news. He considered making her his blood slave since he already had an empty slot, but quickly changed his mind. He really didn't like her. Still, he needed to scam her like the rest. What is the problem? He decided to ask, despite knowing the answer. We want to get out of this place, we have things to do other than serving that Ba, EHM, Emperor Vic. Mavis said hatefully, I already told you, the outside is very dangerous for you, many people might be searching for you at the moment, if you appear you will be recaptured immediately. He said, and this might even put his majesty's own operation in danger. We told them the same. The previous girl who seemed to be the leader said, regardless, this is our choice. Are we prisoners here? Mavis ignored her and asked Victor. Of course not, Victor said. It is just that getting you out at the moment is a little tricky, we will have to wait until his majesty returns. Victor said, he had been acting as Vic's old butler in front of the girls. Where is this place anyway? Mavis asked, why do we get lost and return here whenever we try to leave through the mist? She asked, looking at the misty forest that surrounded their village. It is somewhere safe, very far from civilization. Since you plan to leave, you better not know those details. Victor said coldly. So, you are letting us out? Mavis asked as she squinted her eyes. 
Give me a few days, he said as he vanished again. That girl Mavis was really getting on his nerves, so he planned to use her for a little experiment. He wanted to let her out in Ismeralia, and then watch if she got to become a player and whether her fate would change or not. If her fate was connected to the world, it would definitely change in another one. He just needs to get to a safe place. Ellipsis. A few minutes later, Victor appears somewhere else inside the cauldron, it was a dungeon with many cells. The one used by the demons before. As an old man he slowly walked between the cells filled with demons until he reached the last one where chained to a post was an old elf alchemist, Chanas. This was the first time they met face to face since the alchemist was abducted and was left here for the last few days. You, who the hell, the elf began to yell angrily, but before he could speak, Victor took a whip and started beating the shit out of him. He really wanted to vent, and this bastard who almost caused his sister to suffer deserved to be beaten. No, please, stop, ah, the torture session lasted 15 minutes before Victor threw away the whip. Now we can talk, speak, who do you work for? Victor asked, you will pay for this, bastard. Chan is cursed as blood seeped from his wounds. The Sun Lord will never forgive you. I see, you have some tough bones, let's see if some butt wine can fix you up. Victor said, taking a bottle began to forcibly push it into Chanis's mouth. The latter wanted to spit this foul shit tasting wine but couldn't. Then, just as the bottle was finished, without waiting, Victor put it away then began whipping the shit out of the elf again for an entire five minutes. This butt wine was a special version of the soul wine that Victor developed recently, it had just finished fermenting and he was eager to try it. It was created by combining the normal soul wine with the shit-tasting mushroom. Hence the name, the idea was to use it after beating someone up. The injured tissues would absorb the nutrient combined with wine very fast, allowing the wine's effect to appear very quickly and have a longer effect. That was the idea anyway. Ah, stop, speak, Victor said, you will never make me talk. Filthy bastard. Chan is cursed. Talk about what? About how the High Princess ordered me to kill her brother. Chan is said in a challenging voice, totally unaware that he was spilling the beans. The wine was working. Oh, hearing that, Victor sighed, activating a voice recording talisman. The princess would never hurt her family. He said, I know her best of all. You know nothing. Chan is began to laugh. In fact, the current elven emperor is already drugged by the princesses. He is just a toy who is being played by them, the only obstacle in their way to get the throne is only that gullible piece of elven horse dung, Massel. What? Impossible. The Sun Lord would never agree to that. Victor said, the Sun Lord doesn't care. His rule is that only the strongest shall survive. Chana said, that's why the current emperor killed all his siblings, so did the one before him eating their flesh to purify their bloodline. Ah, you elves are sick, Victor said with disgust. He heard of this way of purifying blood and required the murderer to drink the blood directly from the corpse of his kin. No, you are the sick one. Chanas yelled, I am sicker than you at least. Victor quickly caught the surge in Chanas's emotions. You can never be as sick as me. He said proudly, elves had a very severe pride problem, they would always want to be the best, and Victor who noticed this chance, decided to grasp it. Getting information using the soul wine was just like surfing, he had to grasp the biggest waves and ride them. No, we are the sickest, Chanas declared, falling right into Victor's trap. Impossible, prove it, Victor said. Well, you might not know, but in the breeding pits we are forcing demons to mate with slaves from other races to create demon kin. Victor scowled, he expected as such, that is not sick at all. He declared dismissively, of course not, but what if I told you that the elves sometimes go into the pits to watch? The alchemist says, just watch, Victor asked, raising one eyebrow. Yeah, how sick is that? Don't they enjoy some action too? Victor asked. Compared to what was happening in his original world, this was not sick at all. No, it was sick, but relatively speaking, this world was really tame. Ah, ew that is disgusting. The elf declared with disgust. You are sick man. Quote dot 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 quote. Quote dot 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 quote. See I win. No, you can't. Chan is flared. Forbidden behaviors are not allowed. Then tell me something more sick you do. Ah, the elf began to twitch. He was obviously a little disgruntled by his loss, or was he imagining something sickest? Well, what? Victor asked as the elf began to look around, making sure none of the caged demons were listening. Look, don't tell anyone, the elf whispered. Quote dot dot dot. Ah, the sun lord. What? Victor asked, finally reaching the juicy bits. 
The Sun Lord, His Highness, he likes young elven boys. In fact, he really liked. Chanas began to whisper then paused. Liked what? Victor frowned. This info was a normal degree of sickness, but it was usable. Ah, the old elf screamed then moments later he began to bloat, making Victor step back in a hurry as the elf exploded. Bam, splashes of blood and tissue splattered everywhere. A restriction, Victor, who dodged everything professionally as a young master should, frowned. Such explosions usually happen when someone triggers a curse of some sort by saying something that they shouldn't. It was not rare as many organizations and families would implement something similar after the reckoning. Even for him, he had to get such a restriction when he decided to work at the Royal Library. The problem was that Chanas had nothing of that sort in his appraisal screen. The same with all the sun elves he appraised. What the fuck, could it be that the Lord was listening to their conversation by some way, then somehow acted? Could it be that the Lord knew all about his plan? With that thought, Victor began to look around nervously. There was no one. Wait, he was in the cauldron. This space was completely under his control, he would have felt it if the Lord sneaked in. Right, swallowing hard, Victor began to sweat. Wait, thinking for a moment, Victor glanced at the blood. Splattered on the ground, he appraised it. Augmented blood, bloodline, sun elf, ah 100%. Full bloodline analysis possible, do you want to reveal blood encoded data? Cost 5 order points. It was the same with how that book of bloodlines he devoured worked. The full analysis requires 100% purity. He paid, sun elf bloodline, blood ID, not assigned, fabricated bloodline. Rank, ah, data status, complete, originator species, sun lord, t-a-r-o-s-a so law. Fabrication ingredients. High Elf Bloodline, S15%, Moon Elf Bloodline, E80%, Sun Swallowing Dog Bloodline, SS5%. Bloodline Abnormal Effect, The Slave of the Sun Lord, S Less Than Restriction Greater Than. Special Blood Effects, Restricted Immortality, Enhanced Healing, Masochistic Tendencies, Unreasonable Obedience, Super Enhanced Magic Power, Super Enhanced Charm, Enhanced Luck, Enhanced Water Resistance, Enhanced Fire Resistance. Enhanced light resistance, enhanced poison resistance, enhanced mana sensitivity, bloodline skills, invulnerability under the sun, SS, sun charging, A, regeneration, A, call the lord, A, archery gift, A, mana sense, A, mana affinity, A, charm, S, mana absorb, A, stealth under the sun, A, ray deflection, A, elven love, B, camouflage, B, weakness. Decal Mist, Disables Magic, E-A-R-T-H-B-R-E-A-T-H -E -E Wood, Greatly Restrains Powers. Moon Shadow Stone, Destroys Bloodline. Shit, what the fuck is it now? Accursed Bloodline, and why was the originator's name different from the current Sun Lord? Was this position inherited or something? There were just too many unknowns, but the thing that mattered was the Slave of the Sun Lord Bloodline effect. Was this a curse or something? The status menu lists it as a restriction. Although Victor didn't know the limits of this restriction, fearing that it might act like his blood slave, got him very worried. Could it be that the Sun Lord was watching all his interactions with Massel and with this guy Chanas? Victor quickly began to remember if he said that he shouldn't have. Damn it, shit, 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 wait, thinking about something Victor decided to check things first. Reveal the description of the slave of the Sun Lord. He used his Akashic Scholar skills. One less than the slave of the Sun Lord greater than was found in the Akashic record. Cost. 9999 order point. Shit, he only got 1209 at the moment after his adventure in the demonic lands. Should he go hunt a little more? Wait, Victor quickly focused on the blood itself. Reveal the description of the slave of the sun restriction in this blood. He said, hopefully, by providing a specific sample the cost would go down. Cost 999 order points. Still costly, but he could afford it. Pay. Effect. The slave of the sun. Type. A registered less than restriction greater than sequence. Level. S. Creator. T-A-R-O-S-A Sola. Restrictions. Elven bloodlines. Inherited. Cost to cast. 99 virgin elves. 99 dogs. Sunstone. One drop of the blood of the caster. One Davitothic feather must contain the targeted bloodline. Time to cast. 99 hours 99 minutes 99 seconds. Effect. 1. Total obedience to the Sun Lord class holder. 2. Cannot insult the Lord. 3. Give everything to the Lord. 
4. Cannot reveal secrets of the Lord. 5. Cannot betray the Lord. 6. Can hear the voice of the Lord. Reading Thai's victor sighed in relief. It was just that Chan has said something he shouldn't have and died as a result. Thankfully, the restriction didn't have a feedback loop, so the Lord couldn't know about anything that transpired here. Wow, that was close, Lords were scary. He really needed to be more careful from now on. Wait, didn't he promise himself that three times already? Damn it. Now, although he had many questions, Victor realized a few things. The first was that Massel could not be trusted, and until he found a way to remove this effect. And the second was that he needed to get his sister out of this sick place ASAP. Now, it was time for him to go out and see where the cauldron was. Ellipsis. At the same time, in a large corporate building, a very important meeting was coming to an end. In the name of Horizon Media Group, we thank you very much for your effort, Master Abe. Susan, the top secretary, said as she reviewed Abe's signature on the contract and put it away. It was for the rights to make one of his novel a movie. It is my honor. Abe smiled proudly. When will the shooting begin? We still need to check with the director for that as we still have to do the screenwriting, but Miss Mira is fully on board and she can't wait to discuss the script with you. Susan said, I see, as long as I can have a private meeting with her as agreed. Abe nodded with a smile. Now that he had all the money, he managed to get a professional to look at his old, injury, and to his surprise, it was curable thanks to a new stem cell technology that was pioneered by a company called Twin Tower that only serves the extra rich. That's why he agreed to sell this novel fast, wanting to use the money he got to pay for the treatment. It was only time before he would be able to return as a full man again. Brothels of the world, just wait, Mr. Abe, Mr. Abe, the secretary seemed to have been calling to him. Ah, sorry, just got a little distracted, he quickly said, giving her boobs a glance. Not bad, Mr. Abe, we have a small request, Susan suddenly said as if she was totally unaware of where his eyes were looking. What? He asked. I know that as a part of your prior agreement with the CEO, only those who are a part of the contract preparation team can know your real identity, but... What? Our vice president really wanted to meet you, she is a fan of your novels. She, Abe raised one eyebrow, a female vice president, he liked those the best in his fantasies. Yes, she and a few fans really want to meet you, Susan said. If it is okay with you, I will call them right away. Well, is your vice president pretty? Abe asked. It all depended on that. Ah, well, she is pretty hot. Susan whispered. Oh, how old is she? Abe asked again. She is the youngest to hold that position at the mere age of 19. Susan said proudly. Oh, then I will meet her. It is my duty. Abe said as he licked his lips. Oh, thank you. I will call her right away. She will be thrilled. Susan said with a smile.